Welcome to our Body and Soul Adventure for this week. If you are new on this journey, huge welcome. If you are joining me again, then welcome back. Uh, super excited to be reporting that um, I've got a few pounds down, which is cool. Um, but you know, I mentioned recently that it's the measurement of success and of progress is not just in the pounds down, it's in every area of your life, especially if you're dealing with body and soul. Um, my husband Jonathan's been in Scotland um, for a week. He comes home tonight, very excited. In the meantime, I have been sleeping with little London, a couple of bubbies, and <laughs> Wally, why not? Anyway, that's all good. But next week is July 4. And super excited about that because I'm a citizen now, I'm an American citizen, and um, it's always a really exciting, wonderful special holiday to celebrate and to be able to hop in the pool with a swimsuit on and not feel like eh, is a good thing or to be able to sit in a lounge chair outside and not hop in the pool that's okay as well we've got friends coming and some of them will get in the pool some of them won't um i will get in this year all good so i wanted to talk to you this week about time because i've realized more than ever how hard it is to try and do everything when you feel like you don't have the time to do it all in. And I was asking God this week, oh, Father, if only there was an eighth day. And I didn't even need him to speak back to me because I spoke back to myself because I know the word, the word says that in seven days or six days he created creation and on the seventh day he rested. And I know that if there was an eighth day, what we would do with it, we would fill it and we would ask for a ninth day and then we would fill that and ask for a tenth day. And then there's some kind of something in us. It's like, oh, it's the struggle of time. And so um, I also sensed when I realized the fact that there is, you know, only so much time you can get everything done in that um, Father God in heaven is you know, not like, oh, why haven't you done this, this and this? He's more like, why are you doing things I've not even asked you to do? And so when it comes to prioritizing our time, it's a very important thing because it's going to cause some change. It's going to it's going to necessitate some priorities taking precedence and working out what those priorities are are super important. And, um, you know, our marriage is important. Kids are important. Our purpose is important. Looking after ourselves, you know, self-care, that's important. But how do we prioritize all of that? I think it's just a matter of, you know, looking at everything we do in a day and then pairing it back and saying, this doesn't matter or this can wait. Um, I'll just give you an example of my day. I woke up early um, taking London to you know, vacation Bible school. It's like the, this summer camp thing that's down the road and, and she loves that. And I realized that I had this um, very urgent deadline. So I thought, well, I can't even work on my urgent book deadline until I read my Bible, because then I need to clear my head. But then I have to do cardio. And if I don't do cardio, then that's going to also cripple my brain space. <laughs> and also, obviously, it's going to affect my goal. Um, and so then I had to be somewhere. Then I had an urgent phone appointment ah, all at once. So what did I do? What did I skip today? Oh, and um, by the way, I had to get my roots done. <laughs> um, what did I skip? I'll let you work out what I skipped. What would you skip? That's a question because I feel like you need to be in touch with and intuitive with what is necessary in your life, not just what someone else prescribes for you. Like what is the most important thing at any given time is something that you need to work out for you, for your family, for your goals. And I did have to skip something today that was um, maybe a point of my marginal irritation. But at the end of the day, the things that I didn't skip were a greater reward. So I'm not even going to tell you what I skipped, but, but I would never skip my kids. So anyway, so um, my little girls, I'm looking, I'm in my room, I'm looking down there. She's in the pool with a friend, little Avery, having fun, playing with no technology. It's like, oh, goals. Um, I want to really encourage you about time because it can become an excuse. And of course, it's a reason. 
but don't let it become an excuse where you can't do anything. For many, many years, I would wake up so early in order to get things done for me personally so that my kids, who were like little at the time, were not thinking, where's mum? Mum was absent. Mum, what's mum doing? Mum's old. Oh, mum's going to the gym or mum's doing cardio. Mum's... Now, when our kids see us exercise, is that a good example? Yes, just like when our kids see us reading our Bible or when our kids see us put technology down or when our kids see us being a good role model in the home and with relationships, yes. But um, I just felt like I wanted to get it all done so that I could give them full attention. You have to work out what's right for you. And this week I want to think, uh, so I, <laughs> let me just stop and slow down, sorry. This week, I want you to think about your time, your calendar, because it's, because it's the one thing that you have got control over. And um, whatever you do, put the big stones in. Make sure you're thinking about your relationship with God, your faith. Think about your marriage. Think about your kids. Think about the people in your life. And also make sure that you don't use any of the above to forget about you. I uh, want to say that from the beginning of my, let's call it a stress uh, season in late 2016, early 2017, I have currently lost since then 24.4 pounds and I'm still pounding it down and I'm okay that it's taken longer than it should because of how the stress happened and what my life is now and don't ever get obsessive just become extremely um, just committed be committed to it and make time for you when it actually gives back to everyone you love including yourself have a great week